So today we're gonna do a more in-depth um, testing on the Humidity U Watch, U Run Watch. So today, you know, I'm gonna show you how to um, get your phone synced up to your watch. So first thing you need to do is to, to download the Pi Active app. And on this app, as you can see, it has some very bad reviews. Um, you know, some people are saying that it's very hard to register and um, and it's also sometimes it does not respond um, to the phone and it's a flimsy app. Uh, so it seems like every time Humidity push out a new watch, they um, come up with a new app. So I don't know if they have a specific developer team that helps with um, with making these fitness apps but um today i've downloaded the pi active app already uh, just to show you guys so once you open this um, you have to first sync up with your device uh, once you sync it up uh, they will notify you with a um, update so um, once you sync it up permission you basically have to allow them to uh Activate. So I'm just going to try to set up a new device here just to show you. So you do have to activate your location with this watch so they can uh, activate the GPS along with it. So in this case, once you sync it up, so it shows that it has, it's still not connected. And so it's connecting the Bluetooth. So now it's showing that it's connected. Um, so previously I did two workouts on this um, watch, as you can see right here. Um, I did a training session and also a walking session. So for the training, I just did some, you know, jumping jacks for you guys for a good two minutes and some push-ups and it, I, re I was recording the heart rate and also um, you know the duration of the workout as well so once it's connected I would assume that they um, automatically would update the training as you can see here this free training uh, workout was updated um, and the fitness uh, walking that I did earlier with the tracking with the GPS was also you know, pre-recorded already. So this is the new workout that I did for two minutes-ish, you know, with the push-up and the jumping jacks, as I mentioned earlier. So this app, you know, is, so basically if you do a workout on your watch, um, it will automatically sync up to this um, app once you connect it Bluetooth with your phone. Um, so it also records, you know, the, heart rate when you're doing your workout. Um, so this is, you know, the data, uh, the blood oxygen level, and, um, you know, all these were done um, just earlier. So once you connect um, to your device here, um, as I mentioned earlier too, they will require you to update to the latest um, firmware. So um, for this, just want to make sure that you have the latest firmware. It is, um, just want to hold this. Um, my device. So synchronizing data. So this will be the latest version. Um, well, once it syncs up the data. So it is taking a bit of the time. Maybe that's probably for the poor rating reviews that uh, people have been posting on the Play Store. So we're getting a uh, live test of this right now. So. Oh, so I guess you just have to go back. I guess this just keeps spinning. Uh, maybe it's a glitch on the app. But if I just go back, but it did show that it um, everything does sync onto the watch. So this 
uh, workout that I, you know, previously did without turning on the smartphone did work. So I uh, just want to test this out again, you know, with the GPS function as I show, uh, I'm going to show you right now. So for this watch, once you start a workout, um, you're going to see this uh, display and then for this, you have to wait for the GPS to sync up. Since right now I'm located inside indoors, um, they might have some trouble um, at locating the GPS. But once you get the success logo, you're good to go. And then you can start doing your workout. And what you do here is you just press this button to start your workout. And then this is when you start tracking your workout. Once you put your watch on, um, you can start recording your heartbeat and also at the same time it tracks your location. Um, so this is a pretty good feature um, to see that Humidity is put, put in on onto their smartwatch. And uh, once you want to stop, um, you click on this top button again. So if you click this button, you can pause it or you can stop. So if you want to continue, you can continue with the workout and then it'll restart the timer. Um, so this button doesn't really do much during a workout. As you can see, if I'm pressing this button, it doesn't do much. But if you press this button again, it pauses the workout. And then if you stop, this is when they would record your workout and log it. So um, once they log this, what's I show you? So if you stop the workout, it asks if you want to end with your for sure, then you check yes. Um, I don't know if this will be uh, recorded um, at the moment since it is less than one minute. As I mentioned previously, uh, workouts that's less than one minute or um, it won't be recorded. Uh, so let's go back to the main page here just to check it out, sports data. So yeah, it did not record the uh, workout. So um, I will try to do a longer one. So for walk, cycling, and all these apps, um, they do have a GPS function, as you can see here. Um, but for other trainings like uh, treadmill, it does not have the GPS function. And same goes along with the um, Hike, let's try hike with the uh, GPS. So hike does have a GPS function, which is good to see. So they kind of know what they were doing. Um, so again, if you wanted to start the workout, um, you can just click, double tap on, just tap on the screen and it'll start the workout. Now, if you want to stop, hit this button again, and then it will stop. And then you just check yes. So for, um, so certain workouts obviously doesn't have um, have a GPS function. Like if you go on to lift and stuff, you click on train, it doesn't have the GPS logo. So, um, and then you just stop the workout. Um, so for back to walk, you know, walking does have the GPS function as well. So you can track where you walked and how far you've gone. So GPS ready and then you tap on the screen and then that's when they start recording. So let's just do it for say one minute. Uh, see, since I'm indoor, uh, it does show a weak signal when GPS is not able to locate the watch. So as I showed earlier, um, with this watch, it comes with the GPS function. So if you click on the fitness walk, so once you start your workout, um, you can basically, um, track where you uh, went with your workout so if you you know click on walk and then once you get the gps set up then it will track the map as to where you know you have gone so basically it's a live feed of you know the trail that you have taken and you know it also tracks the average speed the average pace and um the time. So for whatever workout that requires uh, GPS tracking, you know, besides this, you know, um, any stationary workout like on the treadmill, then they don't have the GPS function. But otherwise, you know, if you're doing hiking and all the other stuff, 
you will expect a GPS function of it. And then once your watch is synced up to your phone, then it will record all the data. So one of the questions um, that some folks were asking me was whether this GPS will sync up with uh, the phone, you know, with the map afterwards. So um, let's do a quick testing here. So if I turned off the GPS function and my Bluetooth function on my phone, and now I'm gonna test this with the watch. So I'm going to start a sports um, mode. So running, so GPS does still function um, on the watch. Um, so with, you see here, once it, uh, allocates the location. It may take some time again since I'm indoors, but see, you do see a success. Um, so once, so you can wear this watch um, running and then come back and then it will calibrate to the map once you sync it up to this, um, this app uh, that, that you download from the Play Store. So um, I'm definitely gonna test it as, you know, a couple more times um, doing more runs in the morning and, um, you know, keep you posted. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below and, um, you know, I'll definitely try to respond, you know, to any, you know, questions or concerns that you guys have. Um, if you guys uh, like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.